we can really argue at that stoppage. You could argue if that was a close fight that that's a premature stoppage, but it wasn't close. And she was starting to really ship some punishment there, Katarina Tanders. And what a performance from Terry Harper. My goodness me, that's close to punch perfect. <laughs> Almost flawless. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, that's answered a lot of questions. Let's mute. So basically, no replay value in the fight. She jammed her face off. She literally death by a thousand jabs. She didn't die. It's just a, a, a term. It's just a term. Just saying that domination. Terry Harper goes on to defend her title. And doesn't she pick up the W or the IBO? Or does she already have it? After defeating Catherine, Cather, Katharina Van Des. I know I'm probably butchering it. I'm T Street Controversy with FightView360.com. We cover every single major fight live. Um, yeah, so what's next? If you don't know, Eddie Hearn has been signing up the one whole 130-pound division. That was a uh, headbutt. There as well. That effectively broke her heart there, though, didn't it? Oh, this was a, a body shot that really got to her. Vicious body shot. I mean, almost exactly landed where the previous one had and once Harper saw well you've been on the receiving end of a barrage from Terry Harper so you know exactly <laughs> how it feels for Katarina Tanders right now absolutely mm. it does not feel very nice I can tell you should he have stopped it it's a world title fight I think, she's, I think, I think it was a good stoppage I think she probably could have made the final bell but like you say she, she'd lost the fight anyway yeah if it was close it's a different so um Eddie Hearn has been carrying uh, the women's boxing on his back, especially with those lower weight divisions. So he just signed this girl. Oh, Lord, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Hoi. Wait. Han Mi Choi. What is she doing? Well, Tanders. WBO? Is WBA. Enough to learn a lot from that and come Champion again, at 130. It is about learning when things don't go My your own way. she is yeah, the I IBF. Yeah, you have to lose that mentality in boxing. That He's got, got her. The, you've got to have this non-losing record. Michaela Mayer, the perfect record you absolutely who I think don't. can beat all of them. We'll I think. see better <laughs> fights as fans if we don't have that. Calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage. One minute and 12 seconds of round number nine. Your winner by RSC. She's still undefeated. And still, the WBC and IBO Super Featherweight Champion of the World, Terry Belter Harper. So, all right, before she does her post fight interview, let's say that now here's how I rank him Terry Harper is good. I'm not saying that I don't see. I'm not saying that she can't defeat a um, Michaela Mayer. I'm not saying she can't defeat uh, Hamadushi. But in my opinion, I think that they both beat her. These are very. Now you have to watch women's boxing to understand what I'm saying. These are very, very high skilled boxers. And when it comes to the big three, I rank Michaela Mayer, Hamadushi, and then I rank Terry Harper. And I cover all of their fights. So, it's going to be interesting to see where they go next. Likely, they're going to go the route of um, Hamadushi probably. But she's got to have her first fight with Matchroom. I wonder when she's returning. Or will they just throw her right into a unification? Maybe this is what Eddie Hearn signed her for. Not make her have like a, you know, maybe she won't have a comeback fight. I mean, a um, a a initial. I just signed with Matchroom fight. You get what I'm trying to say. Maybe she'll go straight into you know a unification. But as it stands right now, Eddie Hearn holds the keys. Now Michaela Mayer, she's over at top rank. So for her, unless you know top rank and bid for these fights. But I think that when it comes down to it, if it comes down to you know a um, unification, Terry Harper is going to be the A side. Let's listen into the post fight interview and hear what she wants next. Please subscribe. She got Eddie Hearn with her too. Yeah, um, Take your time and like the video also. From 
like a question in myself. Um, I knew it was going to be a tough night with Anders. Um, I hurt my hand in fourth round, my back hand, I couldn't throw it. So I just stuck to me jabbing and moving. And that, that explains the jab. Into that fight. That's impressive. What do you think the big difference was tonight? Very impressive. I just felt more mature. Like, it was my 24th birthday last week, so I think that's done some. <laughs> <laughs> birthday um, cake. Yeah. Uh, no, I just stuck to game plan. I listened to everything Andrew said every time I came back to the corner. Uh, I told him I hurt my hand. He told me not to panic. And um, we just changed it up a bit and we got the win. Eddie Hearn, a very happy camp. Just how impressed were you and what does the future hold now? Unifications? Oh, yeah. I, I said earlier, the key for me in women's boxing, one of the most pleasuring things about it is the, that the champions will fight the champions. There is no reason why we can't have one champion in every division. That's what the fans have always wanted in boxing. And that, there's no excuses in the super featherweight division. You know, we've signed Hamadouchi, we've signed Choi. I think that'll be next for Terry Harper. But Michaela Meyer, we want that fight as well. I want to see Terry Harper be undisputed next year. She has all the ability in the world. You know, sometimes she lacks a little bit of confidence. I've been rattling her up this week in the changing room. You've got to believe in yourself. I said, you're a superstar. Go and fight like a superstar. It's a beautiful performance. You know, with one hand for half of the fight, the left hook, the body work, the jab, everything. So for me, you've got to kick on now in 2021. Go and get these other belts, face these other champions, and let's find out who the best is at 130 pounds. Just a quick word on the ending there, Terry. Were you fully aware of what was going on? You seemed to hurt her with a body shot, and what unfolded after that? Yeah, apparently I can't wear work to the body, but I've just proved that I can. It's something that we've been working on. Um, I caught her with a nice, clean left up to the body. I heard, heard a wince, and then uh, I just went in for attack, but then I remembered I've hurt my hand, and I didn't want to blow my son out. So, um, yeah, luckily it ref jumped in. And is the road to unification, is that what sounds good to you? Is that the goal now? That's been his dream from day one. Uh, that's why Andrew invested money for me to get the IBO belt. Now the WBC, now I want to go on to fight these other champions and fight the best. Well done. Thank you. And as I was saying, man, you got to give Eddie Hearn props, man, for, you know, and, 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 and in women's boxing, he does have a point. There's no reason in women's boxing there shouldn't be one champion. There's no reason. You know, like, the politics are not there. Yeah, you got the Amanda Serrano situation with Katie Taylor, but outside of that, like, there's no reason why they should be bullshitting around. You know, and I'm not saying Katie Taylor got all the belts, though. You know, so, I am um, T Street Controversy with FightView360.com. You know, like, let's look at that jab. Piston. Like, she was jabbing her face off. And it makes sense now. I thought she was just showing off. But she only had one hand. That's crazy. Very, very, very impressive. That's the body shot that hurt her. Oh, that was the headbutt. Missed the body shot. Oh, well. Once again, thank you for uh, watching. Please like the video. You can also follow me on Twitter at T-Street4Life. The number four life please subscribe again didn't we that i wonder that 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 seasoning that she had in